This is my mini documentary on Kimmeridge Bay. It's part of Dorset's Jurassic Coast and is a site of natural and geological interest. There are three main types of rock, dolomite, shell and slate. It also features exposed Kimmeridge clay which is found around Europe but is named after this place. It was formed in the Jurassic era around 200 million years ago and is rich in fossils and oil deposits. Dolomite is a sedimentary rock, which is a rock formed from fragments of other types of rock compressed together. Dolomite is formed by recrystallisation of limestone. It is rich in carbon-based crystals. It makes 2% of the world's rock. Shale is another sedimentary rock. It is made from fine silt and clay particles. It is formed in layers, can be crumbly and often contains fossils. It makes up about 70% of the world's rock. Slate is a fine grained metamorphic rock, also made from clay particles. Metamorphic rock is formed by sedimentary rock that has been changed by heat or pressure. It is easy to split it into layers and can contain fossils. When you split apart the layers of slate, it is easy to find fossils. Here is a bivalve. A bivalve is a shellfish which has a two-part shell which is hinged together. These two shell parts are called valves. They feed by siphoning small particles from the water. The oldest bivalves are around 500 million years old and are still around today with creatures such as mussels and oysters. The bivalve fossil, fossils that found at Kimmeridge are probably a species commonly known as devil's toenails. Ammonites lived between 240 to 65 million years ago. It is most closely related to a squid and cuttlefish and is easily recognised by its spiral coiled rib shell. They can range in size from 2.5 centimetres to a massive 3 metres in diameter, which they would use to propel themselves through the water just like squid does today. Kimmeridge is a great place for rock pool fishing because it has a great variety of life within them. We have fished in these rock pools and these are some of the animals and plants that we have found. This is a velvet swimming crab. It is unusual because of its red eyes. This is why it is sometimes called a devil crab. It is the largest swimming crab in the UK. Here it is back in the rock pool. I think it is a bit camera shy because he is running away. Another really easy creature to find are shrimps. They live for three to five years and you can only find them in summer and autumn. There are lots of other creatures to be found but these are harder to find such as spiny spider crabs. Here are some shells that we found to show evidence of them and this is what they look like in the flesh. Kimmeridge Beach is covered in empty shells of various creatures mainly whelks, such as the dog whelk, of which there are hundreds in and around the rock pools, various bivalves, 
over millions of years, these build up and with the action of heat and pressure formed limestone. Limestone is a white chalky rock that is found all around various coasts of the British Isles. Erosion is a major factor at Kimmeridge Bay due to the unstable cliffs. The layers of crumbly slate and shale easily crumble away, allowing the harder dolomite to fall, so rock falls are common here. Erosion is caused by the action of wind and water. Here we can see the action of water running down the land. These waterfalls are found in many places along the cliff, although they do dry up after a spell of dry weather. The erosion at Kimmeridge Bay is so severe that Clavel Tower was at the risk of being lost over the side of the cliff. In 2006, the tower was moved 25 metres further inland. It cost around 900,000 because each of the 16,000 bricks were labelled, taken apart, then re-erected at the new site. This is the end of my documentary. I hope that you have found it enjoyable and informative. I also hope that I have shown that Cambridge Bay is an interesting place for lots of reasons.